Silver Stag Pyro coming at you with another video and happy Halloween. I'm here with Dad and in this video, first off I'm pretty sure we've all seen the pumpkins being blown up with fireworks. I think we've all seen, or most of us, some smoke bombs lit off in fireworks. But this time we're going to try something new and actually make a jack-o'-lantern using firecrackers. So, Dad and I are each going to get our own firecrackers. They're going to be the exact same firecrackers as each other. And he's going to come up with his idea, and I'll come up with my idea. And we're going to try to blow out the fire <laughs> using firecrackers, blow out the face of the jack-o'-lantern. So I'll give you an idea, I'll give you a look at the firecrackers we're using, and then you'll get to see us doing our little uh, project here and seeing who's comes out the best. All right, so to show you some of the firecrackers we'll be using, we got some regular water crackers. We got some nice tube crackers like Mobster. This is an M1000. We're each going to get one match cracker. We each get a pack of penny crackers. We each get one Firefox. There's, we're splitting a pack of aliens, star bombs, atomic bombs, the larger El Toros. You can see there's a whole bunch of other the firecrackers here. There's some little lady fingers. So we each get the exact same amount of firecrackers and the same crackers. And then at the end, dad's going to pick which one he wants to finish off the pumpkin with. Uh, a Mickey Minnie cracker or a bunny ear. And then someone in the comments suggested we use this green to orange smoke in a pumpkin. So I'm going to do that in one of them as well, just for fun. And I do try to listen to the comments and try ideas out that people give me. So we'll try uh, that as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, see how dad's going to do his pumpkin. I'll show you how I'm doing mine and we'll just have a good time while we're doing it. All right, dad's working on his pumpkin. What's your idea here? Well, we'll make slanted eyes here. In here and then work on my nose here and then put the mouth in down in here and this is for the little firecrackers and I'm just going in with the drill and you only have to go in there and pull it out a couple times all right so little pre-drilled hills <laughs> pre-drilled holes and we're going to be putting the firecrackers in there and I'm going to be working on the exact same thing. So we actually have somewhere to put the firecrackers. So we're going to be doing the holes first. And then we'll come back to show you when the firecrackers are in there. Dad, have you ever had to do something like this before? Not even as a kid. <laughs> the ideas I come up with are uh, different than usual, huh? Of course, at 75, everything is unusual what we did when I was 25. <laughs> We got mom out here watching too. All right, I'm working on mine here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it pretty basic as far as what jack-o'-lanterns look like because I have, it's a lot bigger. So I have a pretty good idea that this is not gonna come out exactly like it's supposed to. All right, basic design. I'm just gonna be, Doing that around <laughs> to have somewhere to put the firecrackers in. And the way I have this in my mind is probably nowhere near what it's going to actually end up looking like. But this is going to be a good time. Plus, I still get to use fireworks no matter how well this works out. All right guys, so I'm going to start putting these lady fingers in these holes. And I don't really have much time because they will soak up moisture. So I'm gonna get them in there real quick. And then I'm gonna use black spider firecrackers, which are just a little bit bigger than lady fingers. Want them out of these. And then, uh, yeah, I only have one more lady finger left. Oh no, there is more here. I got three more. So it looks like I'll have one too few of this eye. But I have these black spiders here. Yeah, they're just a little bit bigger. They still, you can cram them in there. 
So we'll do the black spiders on this eye. And I'll finish doing this and then we'll get to lighting them. Alright, so I got all the firecrackers placed in the eyes. And we're just going to go ahead and take it up here away from Dad. Still working on his pumpkin. I'm going to just set it up here in the yard and I'll start doing these. I really don't want the crackers to sit in here too long because like I said, once it's in there long enough, it'll soak up the moisture and these crackers won't work as well. So, and I just noticed I missed one there. So I'm going to fill that in and we'll get started. All right, let's see how these work. I'm just going to leave the camera right there and we'll go ahead and get started with these lady fingers. <laughs> it's not doing too much to them. Alright, there took a tiny little chunk out here, but so far that didn't really do too much. Let's try these bigger ones. Ah. Wow, those are disappointing. Woo! Okay, there we got some. <laughs> Alright, well we made some progress, so we're going to try out some other firecrackers that we have and we'll uh, check out how Dad's doing on his. Dad's on to the firecracker portion, looks like he's pulling out some duck penny crackers, which will probably be a good option. He saw the lady fingers didn't really work too well for me, so he skipped those. Looks like the ducks are able to cram right in there. And we got a whole bunch of other crackers here. The bigger ones are the El Toros. Got one match cracker. And then these are alien star bombs. <laughs> He's got the one match cracker right there. That's pretty funny. All right, Dad's putting his pumpkin in place. We'll give him the lighter. Alien star bombs, match cracker, duck penny crackers. Let's see how they do. Flip it around. There you go. <laughs> Those are louder. going in and out. They're not going, they're not blowing up enough. Let's try these. Woo! There we go. Those duck crackers do some damage. <laughs> We're getting an eye socket. <laughs> hey, we got an eye. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty darn good. <laughs> All right, so the lady fingers definitely didn't do anything. Uh, so I'm going to be using these atomic crackers. Uh, I think they're called M100s. Uh, before I get any bigger, I want to try to see if I can get this eye blown out a little bit more. Um, if I I want to use at least the smallest ones I have first because <laughs> once we're out of our small ones, oh, that one broke. Once we're out of our small ones, we have to go to the bigger ones, <laughs> which could completely blow the face right off. And then we'll move on to the other one, see if I can get it blown out. I'll use the, the duck penny crackers for the other eye. Hopefully have the same results as Dad had. Come on. Need a little bit bigger. Alright, here is 
We have two more holes there, alien star bombs. All right, let's take it up here. We'll see if we can have better results with these crackers. Let's do it. All right, we're getting a hole. some progress. I think they're getting the moisture in there. All right, we're gonna have to put a couple more small ones in there, but looks like I'm making some progress. Oh yeah, that'll work. Check that out. That is an eye. <laughs> Sweet. All right, Dad loaded his back up. What'd you uh, load up there? I got my other eye. Other eye and nose. And nose and a little bit of the mouth, but you don't need a leg. All right. All right, Dad, go ahead and hit it. They're definitely soaking up moisture. Down low before they. One more down there, I see a green fuse. <laughs> All right, we're, get, we're fighting the moisture here, but we're making some progress. All right, back to sticking more crackers in there. All right, to save on some time of the fireworks soaking up the moisture, because there's definitely a lot of moisture in there, I'm going to stick in the crackers, like through these three, spider crackers, black spiders. I'm going to stick them in and light them so they're not sitting there too long. So we'll get those three in there. I don't want to move on to the biggest ones just yet, but I don't have many options of small left. Let me try this one right here. I'm trying to break this last couple chunks off. I'm chewing away at it. Let's try this match cracker. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> All right, we got an eye. Cool, we got two eyes. All right. We'll move on to Dad's, and then I'll start working on the mouth. All right, Dad's going to try the same technique. He's going to put in a few, and then I'll light them. All right, so we're still go. working on this eye and the nose. All right. <laughs> we have a triangle cracker here. So, you can try that one. Do you want to put it right in the nose there? Might work. This is a Firefox cracker. Woo <laughs> that finished off the nose. <laughs> Alright, we're good there. So we just got to keep working on that eye. We're going to try some different crackers. Alright. Tired of messing around. Here is an M100 Red Tiger. Try that. A little bit bigger. Yeah, that's from the firecracker. All right, let's go for an M1000. We got 
got an eyeball. All right, there. We got an eye, an eye, a nose, and Dad will start working on his mouth, and I'll go back to mine. We are back to my pumpkin here. Man, we are not having good luck. And at first, I really thought it was the moisture, but, I mean, we were putting those crackers in and immediately lighting them, so I don't know how the moisture would have affected inside the cracker, and they just weren't doing anything. So, these are some more duck crackers. I think all the pressure's just going out the front and the back. <laughs> Woo! Here we got a hole. Alright, I'm gonna try putting a few in here so I can just go back and forth lighting them. They're in there really tight, so the pressure should definitely be able to build up in there. But I am running out of firecrackers too. All right, we're gonna try some El Toros in mine. <laughs> there we go. That'll work. Hey, we're making some holes. I wonder if his pumpkin shell is a lot thicker. Cause these, I'm using the same pack of crackers, just the other half of the ones he used, and mine's knocking out chunks. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Alright, here's Dad's pumpkin. He's got some tube crackers in there. There's a lighter. Let's try to get that mouth open. <laughs> Those tube crackers are so disappointing. Alright, that's a mobster. This one should be good. He's eating worms. Oh yeah, that's a, a big mouth now. It looks like a cleft palate. Cleft lip. Oop. See? There's his mold. <laughs> Alright, I got three more El Toros here. One. Let's do those two for now. Dad and I are both taking chunks of pumpkin to the <laughs> to the torso. <laughs> Let me make this one a little bit bigger there. All right, we're making some progress here. Oops. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys the front of my camera. It's covered in pumpkin gunk. All right, we got a Firefox cracker we're sticking in here. misshapened as if it looked so great before well I still got these tube crackers to use so I want to try to get somewhere with these oh for crying out loud no luck let's try here I need that chunk to break off We got one more of these goofy uh, tube crackers, and then I'm going to put a mobster in there. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to make this hole just a little bit bigger so I can fit this tube cracker in. Alright, if that don't do anything, the mobster will. Ooh, I have an M1000 too.
Those are so weak. M1000. Whoa, dude! <laughs> yeah, boy! Check that out. That is a mouth. <laughs> Should I dare use the mobster to get this chunk off? <laughs> I'm going to try it. <laughs> this is definitely overpowered for this spot here. All right, we got him smoking a little mobster stogie. Hold on to your butt. Good enough. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to my dad's and see if we can get his cleaned up. All right, we ran out of smaller crackers, but I have a bling cracker here. We're going to try to take off the rest of that mouth. It may be a little bit too much, but here you go, Dad. <laughs> that might take off the whole cheek. <laughs> oh, that was perfect! <laughs> nice! Flaming eyeballs. <laughs> Alright, let's put them next to each other here. Alright guys, here you go, jack-o'-lanterns made out of firecrackers, <laughs> that is not too bad. <laughs> the, the little firecrackers did a lot less than I expected them to, basically nothing. But yeah guys, <laughs> that is pretty darn cool. Alright, one of the commenters had suggested using a, this green to orange smoke bomb by Wenda in there, so we're going to light it and shove it in its mouth. <laughs> wow, that's a nice thick smoke. Is too cool. Should be turning to orange. The smoke keeps changing directions. <laughs> nice. All right, time to finish these pumpkins off. All right, so I gave Dad the option. Did he want Mickey and Minnie or did he want bunny ears? And he chose Mickey and Minnie. So I'm going to use this bunny ears here in my pumpkin, and then we'll use Mickey and Minnie in his. So here we go with bunny ears. Finish this pumpkin off. Man down. <laughs> kind of broke it up a little bit, but all the pressure came out the mouth and eyes. All right, Dad's going to try uh, the Mickey Mini Cracker in there. He's going to shove it through the eye. Back up. <laughs> oh, nice. That looks pretty brutal. <laughs> Let's see what else we got to finish these off. Alright, Dad, do you want a ball shell or a canister shell? Ball shell. Alright, he chose the ball shell. Let's try it. Good 
do anything to the face? <laughs> Not too much. We're gonna try a dream team ball shell. doing something. Oh, done. <laughs> well, that was fun. Now we got to finish mine off. We're going to try a blinking bomb canister shell, one inch canister shell in mine. the test to see if it actually finished it off. <laughs> Alright guys, we really appreciate you hanging out and watching this Halloween video. I really hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. Later!